Hey everyone, I'm Tefel and welcome in this uh, short guide about the spline component and the spline mesh component. This component is really interesting and in my opinion uh, one of the most important in Unreal Engine 4. You can do a lot of things with this. As you can see I'm moving my character uh, on the spline mesh component and it's moving uh, according to the points position and even rotation of these points. So uh, across the spline you can spawn everything what you want to, uh, just static mesh components, but in our case it will be just a spline mesh component, which can be bent. Setting this element is really quick and it takes about 5 minutes. And you can uh, expose some uh, parameters like static mesh and you can replace this with uh, some kind of uh, railroad uh, or just a uh, road. Okay, so let's uh, get into this. Okay, so as you can see, I have prepared some static meshes like rails, road and uh, pipe spline. But first thing I would like to do is just creating new blueprint actor and it will be just spline uh, actor. Okay, and inside we just create spline which is really nice component. It will be our root uh, and we can add new points and uh, across the spline we just generate new meshes and in our case it will be just spline mesh component. So we go to construction script, get our spline and uh, get number of uh, points. We need to uh, get minus two. It's because we need to generate uh, meshes but in minus one and minus two because we our loop is from for loop uh, from zero that's why it's minus two and for each uh, index we just add uh, mesh and instead of static mesh we just add a mesh uh, spline component right and we can set our static mesh right here and also some uh, points and forward axis but we will just do this setting this right here set mesh and we can promote this to variable so i can uh, just make this visible and controlling uh, outside so yeah it will be our static mesh and second thing uh, just setting uh, our uh, forward axis. This is just orientation of our mesh. If it's just uh, facing top, facing left, right, at the SRI, yeah? So we just uh, use our forward axis. So set forward axis. And as before, uh, like before, we just promote to variable, yeah? And calling this forward axis. This is simple like that, making this visible. So right now our actor has two parameters here. Yeah? Okay, so this is basically uh, almost everything, but we need to, uh, we can do something more. Uh, for each spline, we can just attach to our component. This is not necessary, but it's really nice to use our spline and find every child component later on, yeah? So we will just use the spline as parent and we can just uh, do something like that and next uh, thing uh, will be just setting these values so starting position st uh, starting tangent ending position and ending tangent and we can just set a uh, position uh, maybe just uh, start and we have start and uh, start position start roll scale tangent but there is a start uh, and end and we have these values right here this four values yeah so yeah how we can set this we need a first point and next one yeah so we can start from index zero and just uh, adding one to our indexes yeah so we just get a location at spline point and second uh, this function will be just uh, get tangent at spline point and we need to uh, do the same for indexes plus one right so i just uh, maybe not right here i just did mistake just getting our index 
uh, from indexes this is first index and second one will be just plus one right so plus mm, one yeah and yeah I can just copy this once again so we have spline point and tangent right location and tangent four plus one yeah and we need target so I just get my spline and yeah I can use a uh, root node so and linking this which everyone so it should be should be fine and we need to link this with our uh, values yeah these parameters okay so this is simple like that and this is uh, all uh, controlled by these values and set and uh, we can set uh, even one more thing because we have collisions for our spline which is just blocking all but we need to set uh, collisions as well enabled and we can set a uh, query uh, only yeah and it should be fine I should be able to walk on this spline mesh okay so everything is set so I can just take my spline actor and uh, place on my scene right now and this is right here and I also need to select my static mesh so I need to set my forward axis to Z because this is just uh, facing top yeah the static mesh and I can just put this and I can just uh, taking this point and using alt key just uh, moving this right here and maybe yeah, moving this right here moving this uh, right here and adding more points just using alt key and moving this right here and I can even do something like moving this uh, just right here and one uh, because it's uh, overlapping I can just add point uh, spline point right here and just adjusting this yeah slightly and adding another spline point right here yeah and something like that yeah so this is this is looking fine so we can try this out using our character I should be able to work on this yeah and I am so this is working fine as you can see this is really useful uh, feature and useful component especially if we can just use uh, two of them spline uh, mesh component and spline uh, component and last thing I would like to show is just uh, using this uh, second type so maybe this road uh, okay maybe just moving this to the top to not or, or maybe this cube <laughs> it's simpler way just moving this to the top yeah and it's uh, quite nice right now so we can play once again I'm just moving across and last thing uh, maybe this uh, rails and everything uh, works and it's fine so basically you can just uh, use uh, a train <laughs> uh, just uh, moving across this uh, spline and yeah and everything what you what you want to yeah so this is really nice uh, things to have yeah in your project okay so if you like content like this uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this movie because it helps me a lot uh, to grow this Unreal Engine 4 and programming channel if you have some ideas about future tutorials and guides, you can let me know in the comments below or you can just send me an email. I will be really happy about that. And of course, uh, see you next time.